If you were a tribal for one day, I mean the real original tribal living right in the forests, for one day, just for 24 hours, this is what life is gonna be for you. So if you were a tribal for one single day, you would live in the lap of nature. You would worship the sacred groves, pristine virgin forest patches, which the tribals worship as deities. You must have heard about the Moflong sacred grove in Meghalaya, which the Khasi tribes worship, and they believe that their god resides there. They also have rituals on giant megalithic rocks, a tradition which predates thousands of years. Or you must have heard about the Sarpa Kavus, the snake forests in Kerala, well known for housing thousands of snakes. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why smugglers don't go inside and destroy these forests. But they are also the last refuge of some of the rarest species of plants and animals. And if you were a tribal for one day, you would be in charge of these sacred groves. You would be the boss, you would be the protector of all these sacred forest patches. A lot of them are situated close to underground freshwater springs. And because the forests recharge the springs, the underground water, these springs are conserved naturally and for free. Otherwise, the government of India is running a thousand springs initiative to conserve springs and these sacred groves are doing it for free. But if you were to travel for one day, you would inherit invaluable wealth of traditional knowledge. There's no disease under the sun which the tribals can't treat with traditional medicines. Whether it is diabetes, hypertension or even cancer, they can also predict natural disasters much before IMD or GSI because of their connect with nature. We are diverse from nature. I mean the modern man, we are diverse from our roots, from a culture, from a heritage, from a tradition. We are cut off and these tribals know exactly. I mean, in the Little Andaman Islands, there is a tribe called the Ongis, which are barely 94 or 95 in number, less than 100. And the tsunami struck the Indian Ocean in 2004, killed hundreds of thousands of people. And these tribes survived because they saw the earth was shaking, the water receding, they immediately knew that the water would rise and they would be killed. So they were rushed into the interiors of the highland forests and they were saved. So they are that expert. And if you were a tribal for one day, you would be that expert. I read about the traditional huts which the Toda tribes make in the Nilgiris. Beautiful, exquisite. And no matter how hot it is outside, it is cool and comfortable inside. And a lot of luxury hotels there are also imitating this style. I also read about the living root bridges that the tribes in Meghalaya make and have been making for thousands of years. And you see these bridges, they are roots of living trees. And there is no alternative to these bridges in most parts of Meghalaya even today. And just imagine if we combine this with modern science, modern technology, what are the sustainable ways of future technology, future livelihood that we can have? And if you were a tribal for one day, you would be in charge of all this technology. The world is slogging. We are covered with urban jungles, buildings and choking on all four sides. We are living in this world of social media, artificial intelligence, virtual reality and cut off from nature. And if you were a tribal man, you would be right there showing beacon to the rest of the world and future. And your kitchens would be heaven. If you were a tribal for one day, you would enjoy the most delicious meals, the most exotic snacks, traditional fish meals. And uh, the Gond tribes in Orissa, they make laddus out of mowa flowers. And now they're marketing it through one Kendras. Delicious. If you were a tribal for one day, I mean, I don't know about the past and present, but given this treasure trove of uh, the great cuisine that you are sitting on, the future would be yours. If you were a tribal for one single day, my friend, for one single day, you would be hardworking, simple, healthy. You would wake up when the sun wakes up. You would go to sleep when the sun goes to sleep. I mean, absolute sync, absolute resonance with mother nature. So if you were a tribal for one single day, wouldn't it be a nice experience? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos. And next time you meet a tribal friend, just think how lucky they are. 
and how much you can learn from them. See you.